Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unfortunately, just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Avon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go, round one, and how will Fedor Emelianenko choose to proceed? I know DC, you think he's gonna wrestle, he's gonna grapple. Figures to have a decided submission advantage tonight if he could get that part of his game going. Fedor's got power, man. He talked about wanting a knockout this week, and sometimes when fighters talk about pursuing style points, they end up being the ones twitching on the canvas. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that Fedor Emelianenko's hands will be heard from tonight. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time out. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC box. right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, man. Some big shots, too. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him Pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Huge knee lands from the goal. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice jab up top by Emilianenko. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lee's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Come on, bud. Let's get those Big shot to the head. Oh, 
Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Now we're going. Oh, effective strike there by Fatal. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. One minute to go here in the opening round. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee of the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. All right, so Million Echoes cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Making all these shots count. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Emelianenko's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting them over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Good punch, Lance. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right through the target. Well, as my favorite rack group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Guess the single collar tie now. Just misses with that one. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice leg kick there by Emelianenko. The right hand just misses. Nice lead hook by Emelianenko. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Just unable to quite find that range. Two minutes have gone by. 
choosing to engage in the clinch now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always matter. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, uppercut. Oh, with authority, the body. So much. Oh, oh he's got him hurting here. The takedown is not there. Just over two minutes left in round two. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Lee. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Back and forth we go. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. I mean, that right hand lands a square. Oh, look at that jab. Jab lands. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice counter left there. Fast leg kick lands. Nice. Nicely done. 30 seconds to go in the round. Dig and kick. Oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. Lands a nice one, too. And now a left. Final seconds here of round two. Both fighters throwing heat now. A tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round under it. Right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. But now he's got him hurt bad. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Nice jab. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's going to show. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. 
Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, huge left. Nice job paying attention on the defensive side. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got it. Oh! He's hurt. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, setting up for submission now. It's tight, it's tight. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated, he's looking to finish. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Off of his back, lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Great submission defense. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the core position locked in now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Emilianenko. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, very efficient and effective with the grounded pound strikes here. High-level work by Emilianenko. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Final seconds of round three. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, man, take a seat. Breathe. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be a... All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Land a nice leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch there. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Uh, 
These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Lee's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Takedown defense is there. Nice short uppercut in the clinch by Lee. He loaded up there on that high kick. Checks the leg kick. Big power shot there. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Beautiful strike. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Lead kick is true there by Fate. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head. And that was a tip to show. Looks to me like he's got that submission close. Starting to get deep. Looks like he's going to get the finish. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. And he's back up. Oh, collar tie. Flipped him with a right hand there. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Fader. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Oh, uh, more attack. Yep. Ooh, he's got it locked in. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Emilian Engel. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Darce. Yep, he's trying to hit the Darce here. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. Oh, he got out. He got out and defended. John, I thought it was over. I thought it was done. It was so tight. It was deep. They were hip to hip. I thought the fight was done. Great job and awareness by this young man to defend that Darce choke. Oh, he's got his back. having his way with him here. Five. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. Five. Stop, stop, stop. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish. You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round.
All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a You're fantastic fight. chin, but he Run. just needs to stay the course. Run. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Leg kick lands nicely done. Oh, man. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Well placed kick there by Lee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Don't let him get that double jab off. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Emilianenko. There's another one. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Lands an elbow there. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Slips to avoid that left. Let's go. Get on first one. Beautiful high kick there. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh. Good work from the top here by Fatal. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, right in the mouth. He's in half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down his opponent's neck to try to jump up. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. Work. Work. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, right into Mount. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. 
Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Drops down inside the now foot. Look at him, he set up a choke now. Look at him, he set it up. Oh, gotta protect your neck. Oh. Choke is locked in. What a fight. 25 minutes turned in. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest, 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's gonna get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,